Everything Scary, I'm GM Hans, and today I'm here with my Spirit Halloween Harvester of Souls Reaper Review. watch my recently released Spirit Halloween 2020 walkthrough, the second one in my in the second location, my local store, you saw at the end that I did indeed purchase the Harvester of Souls animatronic. Now I have set him up, I went to the store I think two days ago, he's all set up in my room, he's all displayed, I just played a clip of him with uh, a demo of him in my room with the fog and everything, so you saw that uh, he works everything, he's super cool, he's awesome. He's all set up, I have him attached to the fog, and today I'm here with my Reaper review of Harvester of Souls. So, without further ado, let's get right into the Reaper review. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about on the Spear Halloween Harvester of Souls animatronic is the animation. So the animation on this guy, I think, is absolutely priceless, I think it's awesome looking, and I think it's very unique. Harvester of Souls is holding the little girl in his hands, and when he activates, the arms go up, first lifting the girl up, then her head rolls back, and then uh, the fog will come out of her mouth. So the animation is him picking her up, and then the head rolling back. I absolutely love this motion, because I think it's very realistic uh, with the little girl. I love that the arms kind of pick her up, and then her head rolls back um, perfectly for the fog to then go into his mouth. I love the animation, and I think it's very unique. And we haven't seen any other animatronic, not even only from Spirit, any other animatronic from any other company that is even similar to this. Uh, I think it looks great on the animation. Uh, I put him together and he's very good quality. So even though people might think it's motion is a little violent, I think he's going to last for a long time because he's good quality and he's all metal. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love the motion. It's very realistic. I love that he, the arms actually look like he's controlling the arms by the way it looks. And the, it definitely looks good. For the way that the, the girl's dress is, it actually looks like he's holding the girl. It's not just metal pipes. It actually looks like he's holding her. And I love the animation. It's very unique. It's very cool looking. And it definitely fits the character of this kind of vampire-like creature sucking the soul out of a little girl um, that kind of went in his path. So I absolutely love the animation on this guy. Um, and I'm going to give it probably a 9 out of 10 for the animation. I absolutely love it. Um, and it's super cool, and I definitely recommend this guy uh, if you like the animation on him. Without further ado, let's skip ahead to the next category. So the next category I'm going to be talking about is design. So when I say design, I'm talking about uh, design, how the Horror Service is designed, but also how he looks, how the girl looks, how I like the LED stuff, all of that. So, I absolutely love Harvester of Souls. I seriously believe that he's one of the best props Spirit Halloween has ever come out with. Um, one of the best props of all time, and I love the design on him. I love that he kind of goes with the aesthetic of a vampire monster who, again, sucking the soul out of a little girl. I love how it looks. I love that he has the satin cloak over him. I love those LED eyes that the girl and, uh, and Harvester has. I love the green LED light in the girl's mouth and his mouth. When the smoke starts coming out, that green LED light turns on and um, makes the smoke look LED or uh, look, look green and look gray. And I absolutely love the design. Another thing I love about the design is how tall he is. He doesn't look very tall when you see him in a store when he's set up in the Jack's Cave theme. When you see him uh, in a room or in a house, he looks gigantic. 
Uh, he stands 6.3 feet tall, and he's awesome looking. He's gigantic. Uh, he's wide. The girl looks tiny compared to him and his hands. I absolutely love it. I love the design of his face where he kind of has those red marks all over him. He has that gray face, and I love how the girl looks with that pink and white outfit. I really love the design on him, um, and they did a great job on designing this guy. He is a spirit exclusive, and I absolutely love the way he looks. Again, one of the most unique props we, props we have ever seen, and I love his design on him. So, so unique, and he looks so cool. I love that kind of vampire look, because we do not get a lot of vampire animatronics from Spare Halloween, so it's very cool to get a kind of vampire-looking um, prop, um, and I really love the design on him. Uh, he's definitely an awesome-looking vampire, and again, the girl is also very uniquely designed. You can kind of see, uh, if you look really f kind of detailed, you can see her feet hanging out from below the dress, and she kind of looks like she's wearing socks. Again, so uniquely designed. There's so many little de uh, designs here, little details. I absolutely love it. Without further ado, let's go to the next category. So for the next category, I'm just going to be talking about overall. So now this is just the this is the last category um, in my Reaper review, and this is just going to be talking about Harvester of Souls as a whole. So again, I, this is one of my favorite props of all time. He's my he might be my new favorite animatronic that I own next to Wacky Mole Cloud from 2013. I absolutely love this guy. As I said before, when you put him in a house, he's gigantic looking, and I love that. I love that he is big. I love that he is tall. I love that he's wide. I love everything about this guy, and there's only one thing I don't like, but it's not about design. The one thing I don't like about this guy, and again, this has nothing to do with the animatronic, but the, the customer. If you were buying this guy, have a fog machine. I really believe this guy is kind of useless if you don't have the fog machine. The entire purpose of this guy is to make it look like he's sucking the soul out of the girl, and you need the fog machine. If you don't have a fog machine, or aren't planning on getting him one with him, don't buy him. He's not worth it if you're not going to get the fog machine. Um, even though I do work, I think he's worth it with the design. He doesn't look nearly as good without the fog. Um, so if you're picking him up, picking him up, definitely get a fog machine or have a fog machine because he's awesome. I love how he looks with the fog. It's so cool. Again, I love the green LED lights in their mouths that actually make the fog look green. I, um, I love his mouth. The face design on him is awesome. I love the mech. Again, I to put him all together and every single piece that puts him together is made of hard metal. So I really do believe this guy's going to last. He's a cool animatronic. He's a great quality. One of the best quality animatronics that I own uh, and I've seen in a long time. So I think he's going to last. He's one of the most unique ones. I know he's a fan favorite for this year and I absolutely love how he um, how he looks. He's just so ridiculously cool. There's so many details on his face. I love the kind of yellow, grayish teeth that he has. He does have a fan inside his mouth. So if you saw that, obviously the fan is for the fan starts spinning when he's activated, and that is how a um, spirit makes the fog actually look like it's getting sucked into his mouth. If the if the fan wasn't there, the fog would just kind of go everywhere. But since there's a fan, it sucks in the fog, and it actually looks like he's sucking it up and it's going in his mouth. Um, that's a small detail that you can kind of only see when you see him in person, um, it makes him look that much cooler. Uh, he is selling for uh, $300, which I think is completely worth it. This guy is 6.3 feet tall, he has a lot of motion, he has LED eyes, the girl and the um, harvester have LED eyes, he has dialogue, I really believe he's worth it for that $300 price tag. It With 20% off, he comes up to $260, which I think is a perfect price for this guy. And I really, really do recommend him. If we're even at the slightest bit thinking of getting him, definitely, definitely get him. I totally recommend him. He's totally worth it. He's awesome. I don't believe he's going to break. He's amazing quality, and he looks really cool. I love the fog on him. Again, got that fog machine if you don't have it to pair it with him. It makes him that much cooler, and this guy is just ridiculously cool. I love him. I love the dialogue, and he's definitely one of the best props Spirit Halloween has ever come out with, and I believe the best prop of Spirit Halloween 2020. That's going to wrap up my Spirit Halloween Harvester of Souls Reaper review. Again, just some final notes. I absolutely love this guy. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 just because he's so fresh. He's so unique. Uh, it's a breath of fresh air from Spirit Halloween, and plus, he's great quality, and I love the fog. This guy is awesome, and I definitely do recommend him. That's going to wrap up my first ever uh, Reaper review, so let's cut to the outro. So it's going to wrap up my Spirit Halloween Harvester of Souls Reaper review. Let me know by writing a comment down below. Do you like Harvester of Souls? Do you think he's cool? Do you have him? 
Are you planning on getting him? Let me know by writing a comment down below. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell to get a notification right when I drop my videos. So you're not going to want to miss them. And remember, as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I see you guys later for more Halloween 2020 news and updates. Goodbye!